Hello, trading has closed on August 11th, 2021. As always, we do our disclaimer and then we get down to business. It's my trading plan for Thursday, August 12th, 2021. I can be completely wrong and all trades should be at your own risk. Please click like and tell your friends. Looked for the pattern. <coughs> today with the early low, which this is, and uh, tomorrow looking for the pattern with the early high. We said a few things. We had a target of uh, 44, 45.22. Um, they had printed, here's support under it, here's resistance over it. So that worked. Now we didn't get these other targets from two days ago, but they should still print at some point. We said if we gapped up smartly, it would kill a, kill a lot of the ideas we had. Uh, we started out with a gap, but then this overlap and that won't do. So we still think there's trouble of brewing in this area. During the day, MJT said this drop wouldn't stick, so we trade over the white line, and we did. This is just a reminder of what we said. Well, this is now four days straight. We've gapped up and couldn't hold on to the gaps. This dotted line is the close. We closed under all the intraday highs. This is not strong action. It's not the kind of thing you want to see when you hit new highs. And at some point, this has to reverse. This isn't the type of impulsive moves to new highs you want to see if you're a bull and we're breaking out to new highs. And the only question is, do we have to stop here? Well, I added one more Fibonacci target. We have a lot of them in this area, but we've actually gone a few points past it. So a few points when you're in the 4400s doesn't mean that much to me. But the higher you go, the more you have to call the interpretation into question. It counts pretty clear until you come to the last rally. And what you really need to do is to find a valid way to count this rally from July 19th. Well, here's July 19th. We had a pretty clear magenta A, pretty clear magenta B, and the question is, how do you count things after that? Well, I came up with this. You can have this as an A and this as a B. Then we have a series of overlapping three-wave structures and I think it, it looks to me like it's an ending diagonal triangle. There may be some other way to read it, but I think this is a valid count. And there are good fibs right here at the end. You can take the height of A through C, and you'll see that thirty-eight point two percent is right at the high. take the height of A alone, and that's the height of the close. So this is the Fibonacci target of the prior pattern, and it's a very logical place for it to end. Might not be the only place. Um, these overlapping patterns, they're, they're not impulsive. That's not what leads to new highs. So right here, if this is the right interpretation, if this is an ending diagonal triangle, we'll find out pretty fast because we should stop right here and then to cut the origin of the triangle, which is, um, which is what? Which is 440230. Well, that's only 1%. But the point is, if we do that, it could lead to the end of this whole 
leg up and have much more ominous implications. So if you're a bull, you want to continue advancing and kill this count because I think it's a reasonable count. And if we start to drop right from the open, which has not happened yet, but if that happens, I would tend to believe it. Thursday's pattern has the early high we could get down. Typically, it's a negative day with a final lower low. Early strength turns the tables. More strength usually follows regardless of how the rest of the day goes. Once again, we gapped up. Couldn't hold the gains. Closed out your intraday highs. It's negative action even though we hit a new all-time high. NASDAQ closed in the red. That's a big non-confirmation. At some point, we should start dropping. Today's high completes an ending diagonal triangle. If, that's underlined, if, and interpretation is correct, we should start dropping pretty much from the open. Other counts may work, but that's the clearest one I found. So I'll be interested in seeing how we open tomorrow. Pattern has the early high. If we start dropping from the get-go, we should drop at least 1%. But ideally, that would be the completion of, um, of a much larger pattern. It could lead to a much larger drop. Tomorrow has the early high, and that is today's call.